Hey, hey. Hey, there you are. All right, people keep trying to call while we are talking. I'm excited about this morning, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Glad to see everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Great morning to you. Great, great morning. Hey, Marvin Sykes. Hey, Rakita. Hello. You guys are moving so fast. Petrina Boy, BB Strategist, Tan T. Erica McMillan. Hey, girl. Sabrina Dix. Hello. Oh, tell daddy I need him to do it. I tell him I can't. I'm live. Thank you. Tell, I'm on the I'm on the live periscope. Thank you. Family going on. Hey Shannon. No, I can't. Go to Daddy. It's okay. He's he's good. Thank you. Go to Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Mama issues, right? Chloe, stop. Go to Daddy. Tell Daddy I am live. I'm live. Chloe, go. Stop. That's the last time. All right? <laughs> they don't get it, do they? Do they? Get the mama look. I'm not laughing. That's it. For real. Go to daddy. <laughs> hey, you guys. And mommy's busy, too. Go ahead. All right. It's called Life and We Understand. Purpose Driven Pam. I like that name. I like that name. Deidre Proctor. Hello, hello, hello. Awesome, guys. Well, I am excited about this morning. If you are a guest and somebody invited you here, I want to introduce myself to you. I am Nicole Cooper, and I am an online business developer and simply a business strategist. I show people how to turn who they were born to be into a profitable business model. Many people want to know, what does that mean? That means that every person is unique. And there is no one way to package everybody down the same path. And so I teach people how to identify who you are, what you were born to do, what gifts you have, and how to package it up and turn it into your profession. So I'm excited about being here. Uh, we might have some block parties going on, guys. So I'm excited uh, to be here to be able to share with you guys. So this morning, um, let me clean this up a bit. Awesome. All right, there you go, a little bit clear. Okie dokie. Hey, that seems so much better, yes. Awesome, awesome. So this morning, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about how to triple your profits in 2016. How to triple your profits in 2016. Why am I doing this? Well, because I realize that so many people every single year set goals. And this message is for people who are entrepreneurs, people who are um, individuals who work a job, but you're trying to find your way into doing what you love full time. For individuals who might have established businesses, you might have a storefront business, but you're not seeing the profits that you desire to see. I personally am a huge, 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 huge um, business geek. Like I love all things business. And one of the things that I've learned is that there's so many components to building a successful business that if you are not careful, you'll find yourself as an entrepreneur working a job uh, for yourself. The difference is you don't get the money that you would if you had a real job. And so today I want to spend some time. Welcome, welcome. I see new here. And I want to spend some time talking about um, just a few key things about business, a few key tips about business. Here we are. We're wrapping up our 2015 year, okay? Many of you, you might have started a business this year. You might um, have a part-time side business. You might be a network marketer. Uh, you might be trying to launch your services business. You might be a blogger. Whatever your background is, um, awesome, awesome. Whatever your background is, you might be looking for a way to turn it into money, okay? You might be looking for a way to turn it into money. I will be hosting a full-on webinar training that's going to give you some visuals uh, on next Tuesday. Next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And if you are registered, I have something, keep aggravating my face. There we go. <laughs> um, but if you are, uh, if, if for whatever reason you miss it, if you are registered, you will get access to the replay. It is called the Money and Marketing Success Plan. You can register at moneyandmarketingsuccessplan.com, okay? Money 
andmarketingsuccessplan.com. The and is spelled A-N-D. It's not the and symbol. All right. So money, M-O-N-E-Y, and A-N-D, marketing, M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G, successplan.com. Okay. Uh-oh. I registered somebody. Blocks the wrong person. I hate when that happens. You have these people that come on here and they, um, let me see. So I'm going to have to fix it. I'm sorry, tea time fetish. Um, yeah, so money and marketing success plan.com. Make sure you register for that. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be sharing some stuff with you all today. Okay. Um, I have this full out blueprint that is called the triple your profits blueprint. And for those of you who are on the list, you will be able to get access. Let me see if this is a, for whatever reason, the first page didn't uh, print out. But you will be able to, uh, you can, you'll be able to pick this up for sale. It'll be available for sale um, on Monday, okay? So if you're on the list, it's a full out blueprint. It maps everything out for you that you need to know with graphs, charts, illustrations, examples. Um, and so I want to make sure that you are um, equipped. So, so let's talk business, guys, and make sure you register. Let me know you register, all right? Money and marketing success plan.com taking place on Tuesday. So, this morning, guys, I want to spend a few moments with you getting you to understand what most people tend to do wrong when they're getting started in a business and tell you what you need to do right to begin to not just get your business going, but to triple your profits. Thank you guys. I see you registered. Congratulations. Deidre, Naisha, Rhonda, uh, Miss Panama. All right. Post again, please. Money and marketing success plan. Money and marketing success plan.com. Kevin Hughes, success coach. Thank you, Jay Dean. That's my girl. Toya Tondra, registered. Awesome, awesome. Kevin Hughes, registered. Barber of the Year, registered. Awesome. Guys, take a few minutes really quickly um, to share this with your followers. Uh, this is a great opportunity for people to really get... Y'all know I don't play a lot of games when it comes to teaching you and showing you how to make things happen. I'm not a fluff hype person. Um, I like to tell people very practical, realistic approaches to creating success. So take some time out, share this with your followers on um, on uh, Periscope as well as on Facebook and, and Twitter. I appreciate you for that. All right, so we're going to start off with the three mistakes that the average entrepreneur makes. Now, when I'm talking to you about entrepreneurship, I'm talking to all of you who are trying to do something on the side to generate an income, okay? All of you that are trying to do something on the side to generate an income. The first mistake that people make when they start building something on the side is that they do not have a plan, okay? They do not have a plan. What do I mean by that? Well, last night, um, I was talking to a young lady. I had did an event in Colleen and she walked up to me afterwards. She said, I have a goal. My husband and I, we want to move into a bigger home and I need an extra 500 residual per month so that we can live in the home that we want to live in. I said, boom, that's a great, clear plan of what you need to do with that side business that you have. That's a very, very clear plan, right? A very clear plan. You need 500 extra in residual income to support you being able to live in the house. So what is it going to take to get the 500 extra income and how can you set yourself up to ensure that you make it happen? The reality is most people don't have a plan. Most people don't have a plan. That's the first mistake that people have. The second mistake that people make, ladies and gentlemen, is that you treat it like a hobby and not a business. What that means is that you end up saying, well, I'm going to try this thing, but if it doesn't work out, oh, well. But let me tell you guys something about business. Let me tell you something about the ability to make money. Guys, making money is not hard if you're focused and you are truly intentional about creating your success. You know, there are so many things that you can do to make money and you guys will learn and discover that when I do the webinar on Tuesday night, that there's a million and one ways to make money. 
I promise you, I can sit down with any of you right now and you might say, Nicole, I need to make an extra thousand dollars for Christmas. I can, sh I, I can ask you a few questions. I can, you know, hear what you have to say. We can talk about what you have to offer and we can package it up and we can get you a thousand dollars by Christmas. Yes, I know Christmas is next Wednesday. I can show you how to make that happen. But the reality is, is most people aren't intentional about making it happen. They are passive about if it happens, great. The reality is, is success does not happen for you. You have to do things to attract success. Okay, so the first thing is, I mean, the second thing is you treat it like a hobby. All right. And then the last thing, ladies and gentlemen, that most entrepreneurs um, fail to do is that they don't believe that they're really worthy of having success. They don't believe that they're worthy of having success. What do I mean by that? Well, most people come into this with a mentality of I hope this works. I'm going to try this and I hope that I make some money. The reality is you don't understand your value. You don't understand your value. You don't know that you have what it takes to make it work. You can't hope and wish upon a star that you make money. You got to know, look, I'm worthy of making the money. Many people are afraid of success because you think you're incapable of being the person to have success. And so what I want to do with you guys this morning is get you to reprogram your thinking, all right? I want you to get you to reprogram your thinking. The first thing is I want you to understand that you have to have a plan. Here's the deal. If you have a plan, if you have a goal, and many people say if your why doesn't make you cry, right? Many people don't understand what this why is. But if you have a plan, what happens is you got to attach that plan to an outcome, a goal, a vision, something you want to accomplish. So you might have student loan debt and you might say in 2016, I have $30,000 of student loan debt. I want that student loan debt gone. Hello. Good morning. K2 mom. If you guys just joined us, um, I want to thank you for joining us. We are in the process of talking about triple your profits mastermind. Um, and what's going to happen is you guys are getting a great deal of information this morning. I'll be with you for a bit this morning, but I also want you to write down moneyandmarketingsuccessplan.com, www.moneyandmarketingsuccessplan.com. And we are going to, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to do a full out, <coughs> excuse me, webinar. Plus you guys will get access Thank you to be able to get your own guide. Okay. The guide is being rehashed right now. Um, but I'm going to walk you through tonight today on the guide. Okay. Thank you guys for sharing. So welcome, welcome all of you. And thank you. Yes. I'm still dealing with all this stuff in my, in my system. All right. So, so here's the deal. If you, if you attach it to a plan, guys, if you attach your plan to an outcome, if you say, I want to pay off my student loans in a year, you have to identify how much is your student loans. Let's say you own ten, owe ten thousand dollars in student loans, right? Okay. So I got my calculator. I always keep a calculator. So if we do ten thousand dollars divided by twelve, we end up getting eight hundred and thirty. Uh oh, I pressed something. You get eight hundred and thirty-three dollars. All right. Eight hundred thirty-three dollars. Okay. Moneyandmarketingsuccessplan.com. Can somebody please, uh, can somebody please uh, put that up there? Thank you. Post it so everybody can see it in the in the, in the notes. All right. So so if you want to, if your goal for next year, awesome, Kevin. If your goal for next year is to pay off your student loans, you own ten, owe ten thousand dollars, and that's eighty three thirty three a month. What you do is you break that down by week, okay? You say, how much is it if I'm going to divide it by four? That's 208 a week, okay? So what you're saying is, is that you have to um, essentially, you go ahead and you're going to need to make $208.33 a week. Now, when you do that, guys, it's so simple. It's so simple. Like, it's like, I only need $200. You divide that by five, that's $41 a day. $41 a day, okay? So now you're very clear. My goal next year is to pay off my student loan debt. I'm going to use this business to make that happen. In order to make that happen, I need to make $41 and let's just say $42 a day. And then you identify what do I need to do every single day to make that extra $42. Whether you are um, launching a, a, a writing service, you might be a great writer, 
right? And you might charge people $20 an article. Well, I need to do two articles a day to get my $40 for the day, right? You might be in a network marketing company where you get a percentage, where you get a 50% commission on whatever you sell. So that means you got to sell $84 in product to get $42. You understand what I'm saying? So now you have an incentive to drive you to get to the $42 per day. That's why you got to have a plan, right? I have it written down here. You got to have a plan. You have to have a plan. The second thing is treating it like a hobby as opposed to a business. Now, here's the deal. There are some of you out there that can do it as a hobby. You, this is something you're doing for fun. Everybody has, <clears throat> excuse me, different reasons why they're building a business. But the reality is, is if you're somebody who truly has a long-term goal to, to really build your business to, to higher heights, to make a great level of income, to become the expert in your niche, you got to devote it like a business. Here's why. You know, they say that it takes the average person 10,000 hours to master something. 10,000 hours. That may intimidate you. But if I do, you know, I'm not going to say you can do that in a year. You might, it might, it might break it up, right? Um, because it's a lot of hours, but it's honing your craft. It's putting a lot of time and attention into what it is that you do to ensure that you're able to be able to, to get your business to a level of success. And when it comes down to the money, guys, it's going to take some grind work on the front end to be able to make the income on the back end. All right. So we're going to talk about triple your profits in a second. And last but not least, believing in you. Here's the deal. You got to work on accepting the fact that you are who you are. You were created the way you were created and you have just as much of an advantage to win in this world as anybody else. That's a whole nother level of coaching and training and teaching, but we'll get to that another time.